Anthony Siciliano with the Night Report, and we are back to talk about the Rutgers quarterback competition and how the quarterback skill set will fit into Coach Sean Gleason's offense. Sean Gleason is one of the up-and-coming rising offensive coaches. He's had success at Princeton in the past years and at Oklahoma State this previous season. Coach Gleason is known for developing quarterbacks, and he will be a great fit for the current quarterback room at Rutgers. Six foot five, two hundred and thirty pound quarterback Arthur Satowski played in only three games in the 2019-2020 season and decided to enter the transfer portal early in the year. When Coach Shiano got hired at Rutgers, a day later, Arthur withdrew his name from the transfer portal to stay at Rutgers. Satowski will have up to three years of eligibility left. Ever since Satowski came to Rutgers, he has had a rocky stint of not being able to be consistent with his play or the offensive scheme that he's been in. When looking at Satowski, he's one of the most polished quarterbacks from a fundamental standpoint on the current roster. He has the physical tools to be a successful quarterback at the collegiate level, and there's still time for him to prove that. Arthur Satowski is a pro-style quarterback that has the arm talent to make every throw from inside the pocket. Coach Gleason did run a pro-style and spread offense at his time at Princeton. It'll be interesting to see if Satowski wins the job. Will Coach Gleason then go back to some of those offensive schemes to be tailored to Arthur Satowski's play style? Johnny Langan, a redshirt sophomore quarterback who stands at 6'3 and 232 pounds. Johnny Langan played in 11 games and started in the last eight games at quarterback in the 2019-2020 season. Langan led the team in total offense with 1,231 yards. He threw for 840 passing yards, four passing touchdowns, while running for 391 rushing yards and three rushing touchdowns. Langan brings a unique dual threat skill set to Sean Gleason's offense. Langan showed nice mobility, toughness, and the ability to make throws in tight windows. Johnny Langan is an impressive leader, and that was known throughout the second half of the season. He's a player that no matter the outcome of the game, he's willing to do whatever it takes to help his team to make a play. Coach Gleason likes quarterbacks who can make plays inside and outside the pocket. Coach Gleason will look to take advantage of his skill set. Look for Langan to improve as a passer as well under Coach Gleason through the spring and leading up to the fall. Quarterback Cole Snyder, who stands at 6'1 and 202 pounds, is eligible for a redshirt since he only appeared in two games in the 2019-2020 season. When I evaluated Snyder coming out of high school, he improved from his junior to senior year in his footwork and arm strength while being able to make plays outside the pocket. He improved with his ability as a runner throughout his time in high school, which allowed him to add this component to his playing style. Cole was able to get some snaps versus Penn State for a series or two and showed that growth in a live collegiate game. Cole Snyder is a wild card in this quarterback battle just because we haven't seen too much of what he could bring to the table. Cole has good accuracy and delivers the football with good anticipation. The more reps that Snyder gets, the more confidence he will have with the offense and being able to show what kind of quarterback he truly is. With Coach Gleason's offensive style, Cole has an opportunity to show his ability as a passer and runner heading into spring football. Rutgers 2020 signee quarterback Evan Simon out of Manaheim, Pennsylvania, possesses great pocket awareness, anticipation, and accuracy. Simon stands at 6'3 and 200 pounds and plays with a strong base inside the pocket. Evan can extend plays with his legs in which he can make off-schedule throws when moving laterally. When looking at how Evan Simon could fit into Coach Gleason's offense, Simon's skill set will fit the best under Gleason's coaching and type of offense he wants to run at Rutgers. Evan can make every throw on the field, can throw on the run, make off-platform throws, and be a threat as a runner. He plays with great rhythm and sees the field really well in which he is able to deliver the football quickly to his playmakers. Gleason's offensive scheme at Oklahoma State was all about getting the football to his playmakers in one-on-one -on -one situations and being able to drive the football down the field in the intermediate and deep passing game. Evan Simon has a nice opportunity in front of him to flourish under Coach Gleason's coaching style and offense in the future.